Hey, what's up? Uh, so something that I do very often is I open up entire folders using Sublime Text. So for example, I'm working on an Android app right now. Uh, and what I frequently do is, you know, Eclipse is a little slow. Uh, so I'll drop it into Sublime Text and boom, I have everything. Use Command P and I can search for the class that I'm looking for and edit with all the smoothness that comes with Sublime Text instead of kind of a heavier IDE like Eclipse. Uh, what gets, if you start doing this enough though, which I've kind of hit that point with this project, is that uh, it becomes a little aggravating when you just drag in the folder like this because it brings in absolutely everything in that folder. Not only the things that you definitely want to work with. For example, it brings in like settings folders. It brings in generated stuff that the app is generating uh, when it runs. Uh, and so the way that you fix this and kind of make the process of working with all this folder uh, nicer is by creating a project, a Sublime Text project. Uh, and so what you do is uh, you save project as project say project as uh, and you just give it a name I usually bring it into kind of the base folder of the project here so I'll call this uh, the shakedown Android sublime project cool and as you can see it brings in a new uh, new file here which is basically just you know a list of properties about this project and so the thing that we want to do is we want to bring in uh, and now basically we want to start excluding all the things that we don't want to see in the project. And so we bring in a property here called folder exclude patterns. Uh, as you can see, I've included nothing, so it excludes all folders. Uh, but let's, so first let's comment this out and you can see, okay, everything is there. Uh, so let's ignore gen. That's the generated stuff that Android is generating for us. We hit save. As you can see, the folder disappeared here from the left side. We comment this out can see it's back and this is just a bunch of you know stuff that we don't want to turn up in our searches when we're searching through the entire project uh, for example you do command shift F and you're doing the search by default it searches through all open files and folders and kind of specifying the subset every time is very annoying and so if we ignore uh, include these folder exclude patterns uh, we can start uh, eliminating the folders that we don't want to search through uh, from our project and so then from here we can kind of just you know slowly build it out don't really need to see images don't really care about settings stuff like that and slowly we can kind of build towards a nice project file that we can then go here go open recent and then we can just open the project like that and we get all our settings back and working with the project has become a lot easier uh, so hopefully that is helpful let me know if you have any questions uh, and we'll see you around